This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. And on to the sixth video of the How Can We Extinct a Carrier Group Within Specific Rules series of videos. Every time I think I've finished, you add a load more requests and so it just keeps on going and going. Today's is a mod special. The latest requests are use a couple of C-130s with 22,000 pound Moabs. The idea is we don't have to hit the carrier directly. If we just get close enough and set the explosive off, we might be able to damage the carrier enough. Uh, the next is use the F-22A Raptor mod to see if stealth can get through the uh, radars of the ships so that the SM-2s won't be able to track us or take us down. That's a very valid. That's what the plane was designed for, I guess. So we'll certainly go and give that a go. And thirdly, and really interestingly, what about a kinematic attack? Very high altitude attack out of SM2 range, the MiG-31 mod. We've got a MiG-31 mod. The MiG-31 can historically go to almost 90,000 feet, we believe. The ceiling, I believe, of the SM2 is around 80,000 feet. In theory, we should be able to get over the SM2 and maybe dive bomb attack. Will it work? Absolutely no idea. I guess we'll have to go and see. As usual, the rules apply. We can only use uh, one vehicle each that myself rc well, rc can't do mods so um, we're going to get some guests in instead and we must land at least 1000 pounds of ex uh, chemical explosive on the carrier to call it a successful attack uh let's go try okay valued viewers welcome back i've got my wonderful friends tuxor and gaming here to fly hercules into the carrier say hello yay hello they're very excited and optimistic as you can hear in our bellies in fact i can even show you or i will do when we're flying we've got moabs about twenty thousand pound bomb that is isn't it guys uh, yes. It's what we I call so. overkill. And we don't even need to hit the carrier with it. We need to get it within, like, quarter of a mile and it blows the carrier up. Gaming, we're going to fly fast, low, and when we intersect that land, I want you to turn left to north, then get low. The good thing is, valuable, valuable views, we've got 2,000 packets of chaff to fire out. So I reckon we'll be fine. Are you boys ready? Mm. Yes. Three, two, one, off we go. Everyone follow gaming. Run. Run. Testing flares. Let's go, baby. We've got Jato as well, so when we're past this bit, we'll whack our Jatos on, guys. Go like the bat out of hell. Oh, God, she's heavy with this bomb. And geez, I nearly crashed. Once we go over this mountain, we'll go uh, Toga. Roger. I suggest rocket in as well. Oh, I was going to use a rocket for one missile. <laughs> okay. We haven't got RWRs. You won't know when missiles are hitting. Right. True. Get on due north. Do we need to open up our tailgates? Uh, when we get closer, yeah. Roger. Toga set. Going down. Toga on. It's firing. Okay, hit the JTOs, guys. Hit the JTOs. Oh, rockets fired. Oh, I'm going. Woo! Look at Tuxop. Ah! I nearly crashed. Don't do it. It's really possible to fly like this. Yeah, it is. It's chaff and flare! Chaff and flare! Use it! We've got 2,000 of that goddamn thing. I think I see him. Uh, I see missiles. I see missiles. Do Holy something! Sh oh! Ah, I hit the drink! God damn it! I only crashed! Oh god! Oh, no. Did your server crash? Yes. Well, I'm still flying, so. Good luck, boys. I wish you the absolute best. But their <sighs> missiles are flying all around me. Oh, never mind. Now he crashed. <laughs> Dude, I just saw missiles whiz by me. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so, oh uh, my god. So we, I reckon we could have got there if the server is going to crash. But I'm not willing to kill my computer for doing that. Anubis, fix it, and we'll go back one day and we will try that again. And I reckon we're getting through. I, uh, we weren't invincible. It was all fair. And I took, uh, I took a an SM2 fair and square in the wing, and I kept flying. I was damaged, but I, kept, I reckon we can make it. <sighs> I reckon. Yeah, I agree, actually. Right. I'm more surprised than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, we, we did our best try, guys. Thank you very much. On to the stealth planes. So next, we are trying the stealth aircraft. We've got with us some F-22As we've just uh, happened to find laying around. I've got myself. I've got my friends Cortana and Simba here. Say hello, guys. What's up? We are going to try... I mean, these are not air-to-ground weapons, but we're going to try getting the concept of can we get a stealthy plane, a modern 5th gen stealth plane, close to that carrier. And we may even shoot it or try and, you know, ram it or something if we can. Personally, I doubt this is going to work, but we're going to try. We're fully loaded with missiles, so if we do need to shoot down Hornets, then we can. But our main priority is to see if we can get into that battle group. On the nose, about 70 miles. Are you guys ready? 
go BBR. Got my AMRAMs ready. Gonna go radar. Radar on. Oh, should we turn radar on? I suppose we'll try it. I mean, they'll know we're here, but they won't be able to target us, I don't think. Now, we've never done this before, valued viewers. We have absolutely no idea how the AI is going to react. It's all real AI set to maximum skill level. It's going to try and attack us if it can. I'm going to bracket right, guys, so we can come in on our front. Okay. Uh, I've got hostiles at 11 o'clock, um, 40 miles. They do not appear to be attacking us. And, and no one's spiking us. So if we were in a Hornet, we'd usually be dead by now with SM2s coming at us. one on the left locked. Roger. Okay, there's a far one and a... I think the far one's an AWACS, so they'll just go for the close ones. You guys engage them. I'm going to go directly for the carrier group. See the tactical picture. They are engaging you. They've seen you guys. So uh, treat them as... Very bad. Oh, yeah. They fired at us. Simba, get your... Uh, Get your missiles out. Missile 12 oh, sugar. The fleet is now firing at us. This is not good. I'm going to try going low. Going high hasn't worked. Missile 12 o'clock high. Okay, the ships are firing, but the, the, uh, the, the planes haven't actually fired at you. It seems that the ship radar can see stealth, but the plane radars can't. Splash one. Well done. Other missiles going in and missed. Re-engage, re-engage. Fox 3. He's going to be a dead man. After that, get on the deck, guys, because you've got SM2s coming in. Roger. Splash the okay. second guy. Right. SM2s all over you, so I'm going to try and beat mine in the terrain. So the ships seem to have some sort of sensor that, is a, that can lock onto us. Okay, Cap's broken the lock with terrain. Let me see how close I can get with this terrain. Um, okay, you've got Tomcats coming towards you next from the fleet. Ah, I appear to be invisible down low, that's good. Oh, I'm getting fired on again. Missile 12 o'clock high. Right. Missile 12 o'clock. I think I've got the first time locked up. Watch out, watch out for those SM2s. Oh, do I see the missile streaking up? Yeah, I've got a problem with that as well. Cap's broken the lock with terrain. Going for a last dash. Firing. Go away! Think I might have one on me. You do get oh, into an defensive high. notch and get aggressive. We've lost one. Yep, they got me. I'm completely cheating as well on F10. I still can't get anywhere near this guy. Oh, I'm Shit. dead. I'm dead. Eject. I'm dead. Damn it! Eject. It's all on Cortana! You've got a world of hurt coming your way. That Sounds like fun. It. That helps at all. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a US carrier fleet. How many chaff do I actually have in this thing? No idea. No idea how to find out. Oh, there's a few telegraph poles chasing you, I see. Good dodge! She just outmaneuvered a friggin' SM2. Look at that. This is um, Ooh, that went right past your window. Oh, oh my gosh. Here they come. Ah, I guess we're a bees. Go away. Okay. I'm no longer coming out. Oh dear. It's all kinematics now. Oh, that's a nasty one. Here goes a nasty one. Yeah. Ah! Go away. Go away. Good dodge. 
Oh, look at this dodging! Get look at the master! Yeah. No way I could do that. Another oh dodge. God. If she makes it, if she makes it, I'm going to be a Chinaman. No one can, no one could be a carrier fleet. Oh, this one's got me. Oh, Don's the Visage, as they like to say. You didn't, didn't do bad. That was about 10 miles. Right, guys. The planes couldn't fire at us. They couldn't see us. But they could be vectored by the ships. And the ships could see us. Now, in terms of realism, I don't know. I've heard rumours of modern uh, destroyers and cruisers having VHF antennae that could see stealth planes. Whether that's modelled in DCS, I don't know. But it's clear that ships can see us. And these things do have a reduced radio radar cross-section. I can tell you that now. Because you, it, it's, it's in a lure file. You can literally go and read it if you want. Just an integer or a value. That's not possible, clearly. Any other thoughts from you guys? That was challenging. That's that was right. fun. Right, guys. Thank you very much. On to the next thing. And for the third and final mod attempt for the day, we've got the MiG-31, the powerhouse of the sky, designed for one thing, to go incredibly stupidly fast, incredibly stupidly high, and fire out incredibly stupidly long-range missiles at uh, things. The idea is, of course, we're going to try and get above the SM-2s, which are rated to about 90,000 feet, apparently, in DCS at least. Uh, in theory, the maximum ceiling of this aircraft, we believe, is 90,000 feet, according to various sources, so it's... It might happen. It just depends, I guess, how well they've modelled it. We're going to be starting at 65,000 feet, Mach 2.83, the official max speed of this aircraft, and see what happens, I guess. Stand by. We're in now. 500. It's rather loud. That's the first observation. Fuel. Rather loud and rather fast. Currently going Mach 2.83. Ooh. Faster than the rifle bullet. Got a 200-mile run-up. Obviously, we need a large run-up. problem with this is, as you can see, with the speed at the bottom, the true speed in knots, we cannot maintain speed at this altitude. The real aircraft can, and hence, I don't think this is going to be doable in DCS. The DCS mod just seems to be not uh, as realistic at high altitude. Now, 150 miles away, 70,000 feet. The interceptors, the Hornets are on their way. Seventy-two thousand feet. Mach two point seven. I read that as. Hundred and twenty miles to go. Hornets are still on my case. Tomcats are scrambling. Need to get higher. Angle of attack is growing unsustainably large at 7 degrees. The speed will start coming right off soon. Speed is dripping off. We're only 60 miles out. We've got AMRAMs after us. We're going to have to go for a pull. See if we can get above the AMRAMs. Baby, pull, pull, pull. Angle of attack's too highly loaded. This is unsustainable. We have 80,000 feet. Missile 12 o'clock low. Oh, we're still going. We're hit, but we're going. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Oh, I took our wing off. Ah, we're still going. Failure. <laughs> We've got so much kinetic energy built up in this thing. Nothing, no amount of missiles are going to stop us. We're on top of the Hornets now. SM2s are out. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pulling. 80,000 feet. I think we've overdone the AMRAM. Can we beat the SM2? Hydraulic failure. Yes, failure. Oh, 80, oh, the SM2 got us. 80,000 feet. Oh dear. This isn't going to end well. Again, they can't. We've got so much kinetic energy built up in this thing. It's not going to stop. We're going to space valley, viewers. There is no stopping us. 
Oh, now we're going down. We reached 83,000 feet. Snow is still going up. Still climbing. And down we go. Well. It was certainly exciting. I wonder if we can hit... Maybe our body will hit the carrier. Still supersonic. Nothing else we're going to be able to... Big loud splash in the water. Where's the carrier group? I can't see it. Supersonic again. There's the carrier group. There he is. Look. We never quite made it. Looks like we're flying again. Right, so no, we can't go over it. Uh, as well as that, the aircraft appears to top out at about 80,000 feet, which is slightly under modeled. In real life, we believe it can get up to nearly 90,000 feet and most importantly, sustain that. That aircraft, I don't think could sustain, I doubt it could even sustain 70,000 feet. It's just not quite modeled right in DTS, which is a shame. There's the MiG-25, but the MiG-25 can't even go, I think the MiG-25 only goes up to about 70,000 feet. So I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no point of trying that. Uh, that's it for today. We've tried the Hercules, we've tried the F-22A Raptor, and we've tried the MiG-31. I hope you otherwise enjoyed that and see you later.